so hello friends welcome back to another interesting tutorial i would like to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel like and share my channel i really really appreciate you all and love you all may god bless you thank you so today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut and sew a cow brows a cow neck brows and it's going to be easy and simple to make so if this is what you like to learn please stay tuned to the end of the video so i would like to thank all those joining this channel for the first time you are all welcome and please do me a favor to subscribe and be part of this amazing family and also share and like my videos if you find my videos helpful thank you so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the video so as you can see i have this gold crepe fabric it's a bit stretchy it's about three yards but i'm not going to use all and i have this basic sewing tools as you can see and to start with i've drafted the basic bodice pattern as you can see this is the back side of the bodice I went ahead and cut it down so that the tutorial will not be too long. This is my shoulder line and from my shoulder to my chest line is 9 inches and from the shoulder to the bust point is 12 inches and from the shoulder to the waistline is 18 inches to the hip line is 26 inches and this is the length which is 30 because I want it long so that I can tack it in my trousers. So this is the back and I went uh, ahead and draw the armhole line and I added half an inch on top for the sewing allowance. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. So I'll be using this paper to cut the back and also to cut the front. We don't need any zipper allowance because we are not going to fix zip at the back. This is the back pattern. So I'm going to open the fabric and cut out the back pattern first before cutting out the front one. This is the good side of the fabric and this is the wrong side. But I want the stretchy part to be on the horizontal measurement. So I'm turning it this way. So I'm going to fold it into two. Place my back pattern to cut the back one. So guys, as you can see, I've pinned down the pattern. I went ahead and kept the bottom of the top so this is it all sewing allowances are added to the pattern so i'm going to cut the back piece out so this is it i'm cutting out the back piece and the neck width i used is three inches neck width and then two inches neck depth let me remove the ends so this is the back pattern so let's move on to the front bodies so guys to cut the front bodies we need to do some modification the front bodies is going to have the full drapes on the front that's the cow design on the front so to do that in between the chest line and the bust line you are going to rule a line a straight line like so to meet the armhole line you are not going to cut it through you leave it somewhere next is to cut up to some part here i'm going to fold the front fabric now and then i'll place the pattern on it to cut it so guys i've slashed in between the chest line and the boss points and then i've folded the fabric for the front then i, I went ahead and placed the pattern paper on it like so i'm going to just fold it with pin down you see with the front the thumb part of the pattern paper should be straight on the fold line like so as you can see so the next thing to do is to spread this upper one you can spread it as wide as you want the drip to fall in front it's nine and a half. I want it. I want the drapes to fall well on the front bodies. So I'll still be careful not to cut it. If you cut it through, you can still hold it with tape. You see, guys. 
So for this now, I got 12 inches. So I will go ahead and hold it, the upper side with pin. Then the next thing to do is to draw, you see this neck point here? You are going to take your stretch ruler and then rule the line from here all the way here. Make sure that you connect it straight. Then you cut it, you cut it out like this, straight. Then you come to the shoulder, you cut the shoulder, come to the armhole, you cut the armhole, then you cut the bodies like so. So I'm going to do just that and show you. So guys, can you see that? Can you see it? So before I remove the patterns out, I'll go to the neck point here and notch it. But this is the shoulder. This is the neck point that I will stitch. So can you see that? This is the shoulder. This is the armhole. Because it's going to fall like this. You see? So what I'm going to do next is to cut facing for the front. And the facing I'm going to cut, I'll cut it maybe two or three inches below the armhole like so. So let me do just that. So guys, I've finished cutting the facing for it. This is it. You see, I end it below the armhole. So what I'm going to do now is to pin them and then I'll show you how to cut the sleeve because I'm going to give it a balloon sleeve. And you see where I made the notches? Where I made the notches is going to be the neck point. I'm going to place the facing on it like this with the good side facing the good side. This is the good side, this is the wrong side. I'm going to place it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and pin from where I notched up to the second notch on this side. And I'm going to sew from where the pin starts, that's the shoulder, where the notch is. I'm going to be sewing all the way to meet the notch part here. But this shoulder is going to be opening. It's going to open like so. Now for the back, I cut this piece. I cut it in bias. And I'm going to use it to conceal the edges, the neckline of the back piece. So the next thing is to cut the sleeve. It's going to be balloon sleeve. And it's going to have elastic around the sleeves like so. So I have it on fold. I folded the two pieces together. I need 25 inches for the sleeves plus one and a half inch for the sewing and then also for the elastic. So 26 and a half. So here I'm going to come down four and a half inches for the cap height. I will be pleating the shoulder a bit. I'm going to draw a straight line here with my ruler. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern. I'll be leaving the link down below because I'm I want to rush with this one to make the sewing short, not to make the video long. This is the midpoint. You find the midpoint of this line also. Then you go to this line also find the midpoint. Then here you go up by half an inch, or you can go up up to 0 0.75 like so. And then you leave this center part. Then you come here, you come down by half an inch. Then you connect from here. You connect it to this point. And then from this point, you curve it to the armhole like so. So this is for the front armhole. So for the back armhole, this one in the center, you go up by half an inch. So I'm going to use colored chalk to do that. Then you take it also from the folded point here like this. Take it to the half an inch. Then you take it all the way down. So this is the back armhole and this is the front armhole. So what I'm going to do now is to cut the, the back armhole first. So I'll be connecting this line straight down. Because it's just going to be a balloon sleeve, simple sleeve. 
So I'm now cutting the back armhole. The back armhole. Let me know the center. Then I'll open it up and cut the front armhole. So this is the front armhole. The front armhole is deeper than the back armhole. So now it's time to go and join the pieces together. So I'll be joining the facing to the front bodies first. Then I'll go ahead and then lock the neckline of the back piece. That's the back bodies. I'll lock the neck of the back bodies with this piece. Then I'll go ahead and take each sleeve. I'll join each on the side. And then I'll fold the down part with the one inch. And then do the same to the second one. Insert the lining in. Then I'll come and show you how I'll fix it on the bodies. So friends, I've gone ahead and lock the edges of the back piece. As you can see, I've concealed the edges. I also went ahead and attached the facing to the front bodies. As you can see, and I iron it neatly. And also, I hem the down part of the facing. This is the upper part of the front piece, which is going to form the cow neck. So what I'm going to do now is to join the shoulders. So this is the back piece. I take the front piece and I turn the back piece to the good side. And then also the good side of the front piece. So what I'm going to do now is to attach the front piece to the back shoulder like so i'm going to pin it down so this is it i'm taking it to my machine i'm going to sew the shoulders here are the three pieces so i'm going to stitch the shoulders and then come and show you how to join the sides so guys i've gone ahead and joined the shoulders as you can see the shoulders are joined so the next thing i'm going to do for this cow dress is to Turn it to the wrong side and then use one inch to sew the sides down. The sides, I'll sew one inch here because I left one inch sewing allowance. So I'm going to sew one inch here all the way down to the hemline. And then on this other part, I also do the same thing on this side. Also to sew it with one inch all the way down. And then after I turn it inside out, I will then go ahead and hem the down part with one inch. Then I will go ahead and fix the sleeve. As you can see, I have a lot of these uh, balloon sleeves on my channel. So I'll be linking them down below. So I've gone ahead and fixed the elastic. You see, I fixed the elastics on the sleeves. I did the same to this second sleeve. So after joining the main bodies together, I will go ahead and iron it neatly. I tie the sleeves and then come and show you the finishing look. So guys, if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to like, share and also comment on my videos. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.